Hello! Welcome to a video where I will show you something that is pretty neat. And the thing that is pretty neat is I'm going to do a pen swap, well actually a nib swap, for um, improving my own calligraphy experience. Now I've already done it, but I'm going to show you what I've done and then we're going to do a writing sample with it. So. First of all, thank you to Attila, who actually tipped me off to this because somewhere, I don't know if he had heard a friend talking about it or if he knows someone who's done it, but um, he mentioned that this could be done and wanted to know if I could test it. I have tested it. I confirm it can be done. I have drained this Opus 88 Colero demonstrator and it works perfectly. So here's what it is. You take the large size Opus 88 Colero demonstrator and I got this one from Goldspot Pens. Thank you, Goldspot, because this is probably one of the coolest things that is out there. And you put a Pilot Parallel nib on it. Holy smokes, it fits and no modifications. And because the Opus 88 is an eyedropper with a one-way shutoff valve, you can close off that ink chamber so it's not gonna leak. It's amazing. I've been carrying this for a week and it's drained now, almost completely. Um, so awesome. I love it so much. This is one of the coolest things you could ever do. The Pilot Parallel is one of my favorite pens because I love how affordable they are. They're versatile. They're super robust, really easy to use, and they make me want to practice my calligraphy. But now, like this, this makes the Parallel a little more pricey, like if you want to do this setup, but for me, it's a thousand times more fun. I love, love, love this. So we're gonna change camera angles because it'll be easier to see on a mat. And we are going to do the swappy and I'll show you how easy it is. And then you are going to get your own and you're gonna do it yourself at home. And you're going to be like, holy smokes, this is amazing. So we'll see you in a second. What's up? Welcome back. I will never ever, uh, do that again, I'm terribly sorry. Now, we are doing the, oh, that was my hair, sorry, gross. We are doing the Opus 88 Colero Demonstrator Pilot Parallel Nib Swap. You do not have to use this size. This is the 3.8 millimeter. You can use the six, you can use the 1.5, you can use the 2.4, whatever you want. I just happen to have this one easy to grab. So that is what I've used. Now, let me show you what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna put this back into its original configuration, which is like so and like so so the opus 88 has a sorry i didn't let it catch the threads a number six nib unit superb because you can swap your nibs around really easily if you have number six nibs or number six nib units i absolutely love that i'm pretty sure this is a jobo nib i have Yes, this is a Jobo nib, so if you have number six Jobo nibs, like from Franklin Christoph, for example, you can pop them onto here and you're good to go. So, how we do this, as I said, really easy. The Pilot Parallel nib unit just pulls straight out. Now, there is an O-ring on the end of this, like right here. Like right, I don't know if you can see it. It's right here though, so I'm just saying if you do this, just don't lose that O-ring because you're going to need it, okay? Now, the same thing goes for the nib unit on the Opus 88. We are going to unscrew this. Super easy. Is the O-ring on there? No, the O-ring's still in place because it's held in place by the, um, the ink. Now, okay, I shouldn't have done this inked. I should have actually, let me see if I can pull it out. There we go. This O-ring, if you do this uninked, it will just come off with the, um, the nib unit here because it was held in place by the ink. So this little O-ring, do not lose this. Make sure you keep these together. Unfortunately, this does not fit in here, like it kind of does, but just for our purposes, I'm gonna just put them aside so I don't lose it. Now, the parallel section, ready for this? Are you guys ready? This is like mind blowing. That's it. Just push it into place. You'll feel it kind of like fit and it can't go any further. And that is all. That's right. You now have 
a wicked calligraphy setup. So I'm gonna just move these out of the way and this. So I've been practicing my horrible calligraphy. Um, but like, this is all done with this nib and pen setup. Yes, hopes and dreams, donuts, 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 cupcakes, chocolates, eclair, pastry. These are the kinds of things I do. Um, this is all done with this setup. So what we're gonna do, it's kind of low on ink, but that's okay. I'm gonna just open up the feed and the valve. I'm gonna use my this notebook, it's a little easier to write on. Um, open the stopper valve so that ink can get from the chamber into the inky part where you get all your inking stuff. We're gonna zoom in a little, just so you can see. Now, let's get that ink going. Okay. Just to show you that it actually writes and it is superb. I love the parallels. It's not the most portable shape of pen. So for me, this is amazing. Whoever discovered this, thank you. Thank you, Attila, for telling me about this. I am so excited about it. I am so happy to be able to do this. And like now I need five Opus 88 so I can do this. Okay, if I had an Opus 88 for every parallel that I had, I would need something like 15 or 20 Opus 88s, but let's not talk about that. Um, we are going to just talk about the fact that this is amazing. This changes the calligraphy game for me because I find this so much more fun, portable, comfortable to carry. Amazing. I love being able to see my ink capacity. The Opus 88 is a wicked pen, easy to clean, very attractive, quite comfortable, even though it's a larger pen. You got a one-way stopper valve, it's an eyedropper, it's just got, like, this combination, it's just got everything going for it. So, does it dry out? Not really. Because if you have this valve open, you should have a steady ink flow. I have not had a single experience of this drying out. Amazing. I love it. If you're wondering what this ink is, it is the utterly stunning, not diamine SBRE Brown. That was not drying out, that's just me writing on the wrong part of the nib. Um, I'll just do this because it's not gonna fit. Hopius Brown. It is the Ackerman ink, it is gorgeous, I absolutely love it, and if you cannot get SBRE Brown because currently it is sold out, um, I highly recommend this color, it is so beautiful. So. There you go, my friends. I hope this was useful and in ink inspiring. There we go. Hopefully you will now go out, get yourself an Opus 88, get yourself a parallel, do the swappy swappy, and get your calligraphy game on. So, if you found this useful, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.